So we're in quarantine here, and so I thought I'd work on some boat projects. Uh, thankfully, I still have a job. I just get to work from home, but it is a Sunday, and so I'm working on some boat projects, um, particularly on my bow lids on my tide water. So this is, uh, what, March, late March 2020, and um, I'm going to show you some things. So I, I got a, a warranty replacement on my bow lids. I'm going to show you that in just a minute, and then show you how I'm improving upon that as I replace right. them. So here is one of my uh, bow lids here. You know, you got these three bow lids, two rod lockers in the center. The edge started cracking last year, last summer, and it's still structurally fine. You can still stand on it, but it was horrible looking. And then it was leaving a residue down in the little drain lip that runs around the edge. So uh, I called Tidewater and they sent me out a whole new set of lids. But my, in my opinion, the issue is these are unfinished. They must cut these at the factory and then that's it. They don't paint it or anything like that. And I think that is a misstep. I realize that's part of a high tier boat, but that's, that's what, I, what want. I want is I want my boat to look like a high tier, even though I know it's not. So this is the center compartment. Look at the foam here and it's, it's like the bowls have come up, come open. So, um, just frankly didn't care for that at all. You can see a, a nice bubble there again on these corners. And, and again, I will say it's structurally fine. Uh, but it just it, it's hideous and again, it's leaving residue. I've cleaned most of it up Yeah Here's here's the other locker. This one's not as bad, but you can see the cracks here along the edge and So coming back to the center compartment here. You see I put this foam Weather stripping on the inside of that trying to get a watertight seal around the lip there. It does okay um, I don't I really don't get a whole lot of water in that front bow compartment, but high tier boats have a full like foam underlayment underneath those things. So guess what? That's what I'm so working on. What I found on. was closed cell foam uh, from a company, I think it was in Wisconsin, Foam and More, Foam For You or something like that on the web. Uh, and I found a sheet of four foot by six foot, half inch, four pound density, black or charcoal color with uh, 3M adhesive on the back shipped to my door was 111 bucks. So still not horrible. I have got enough to do all three bow lids and scraps left over. And so that's the project I'm working on. So let's see where we are in the process. Here's the new center bow lid. Uh, they came uncut. I had to drill that hole myself. So uh, I did that. But more importantly, check out these edges. I painted this. I can't remember if that's three or four coats, but I painted these edges and I think that has sealed them in so that I won't have that foam cracking or that nasty goo. I wish I had a picture of that goo that is left after washing. But anyways, I painted these edges. I, I bet this video is not doing it justice, but they look really good. There. Um, but I basically cut this out to mount in there. And so that's what it's gonna look like. So the block, the square block there is where the, um, the gas strut mounts to hold the, the, the door open or the hatch open when, I'm, when it's all attached. So obviously I have not yet adhered this down. You see the back side has just got like a, a you know, a backing on it. Peel that off, peel and stick, make sure it's straight. And then we go from there. Still working on it, still drilling holes, make sure the hinges are exactly right. I don't want to mess up there. Um, I want to make sure they open and close smoothly. I've already done a test fit with the, uh, with uh, taking off the old doors or old hatches, put a test fit with the foam down, the boat hatch. It sits up just a I mean, maybe an eighth inch high. I think probably a three eighths would have been good. However, once somebody stands on that, I believe it's gonna compress and it's gonna make it watertight. It's gonna sound great. You're going across waves, it's not gonna chatter. Um, and I, I think it's gonna just look really nice when you open those bow compartments and it's just this nice black foam in there. Um, it says it's waterproof, sunproof, all that stuff. My biggest concern will just be the adhering, you know, make sure that it stays stuck. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this summer having these on there, so. Finished up the project and I thought I'd show it to you. Today it was very functional. Um, honestly, the family could care less. They want to fish and have a good time. I'll show you some pictures maybe later, but here's the finished product. And as you can see, we've got these hatches all nicely foamed up underneath, pistons reattached. And the best part is these uh, painted edges, in my opinion. So those are smooth. You can also see a, the other primary benefit, the water. So I just got done washing it. You could see where the water actually stopped right on the rim where there's compression on the lip here. And uh, so the, the compression helps keep water out of our compartments there. So you can see it there. And of course here on the other, on the uh, left side. 
So again, these uh, smooth painted edges, in my opinion, that was the first. That was the first thing I meant to do. That was the primary reason I want. I got these new lids, again covered under warranty from Tidewater. Really appreciate that. But um, painting that is going to keep. I think it's just going to make these lids last even longer, and uh, so I don't have to worry about that occurring anymore. And then um, adding this half inch uh, to the underside, I think just really makes it pop makes it look really nice. Again, go check out a yellowfin boat. They've got um, this kind of thing underneath. So again, I'm just trying to piecemeal it together, make it the boat that I want, the boat that works for me and my family. They close super nice, super quiet. I know there's a little thump in there, but they're gonna have a little. Again, four pounds of, uh, of density on the closed cell foam. And uh, it's a little firm. To be honest, if I had to go back and do it again, if you were asking me, should I do that again? Should I, would you do it again, Corey? I, I would do it again, but I would do three pound. So just a tad bit squishier. So anyway, so that's the status of my boat here at uh, April, 2020.